Thank you. You need a gun to go talk to your mother, Dan. You don't know my mother, Jack. You ready to tell me why she was wrong? Why we don't belong here? In about four hours, the Dharma folks at the Swan work site, they're gonna, they're gonna drill into the ground and accidentally tap into a massive pocket of energy. The result of the release of this energy would be catastrophic. So, in order to contain it, they're gonna have to cement the entire area in like Chernobyl. And this containment, the place they built over it, I believe you called it the hatch. The swan hatch. Because of this one accident, these people are gonna spend the next 20 years keeping that energy at bay by pressing a button. A button that your friend Desmond will one day fail to push. And that will cause your plane, Oceanic 815, to crash on this island. And because your plane crashed, a freighter will be sent to this island, a freighter I was on and Charlotte was on and so forth. This entire chain of events, it's gonna start happening this afternoon. But we can change that. I've studied relativistic physics my entire life. One thing emerged over and over. Can't change the past. Can't do it. Whatever happened, happened, right? But then, I finally realized. I had been spending so much time focused on the constants, I forgot about the variables. Do you know what the variables in these equations are, Jack? No. Us. We're the variables. People. We think, we reason, we make choices, we have free will. We can change our destiny. I think I can negate that energy. Under this wand. I think I can destroy it. If I can. Then that hatch will never be built. And your plane. A plane will land. Just like it's supposed to. In Los Angeles. And just how exactly do you plan on destroying this energy? I'm going to detonate a hydrogen bomb. 